Here we have the cost of producing X USB flash drives is given by this capital C of X, which is going to stand for our total cost function. We have this piece right here, and it says X is bigger than or equal to zero, but less than or equal to 5,000. We're not really gonna do too much with that. That just tells us that the company is able to produce between zero and 5,000 of these USBs. It may be a day or a week, um, we're not really given the time frame, but that just tells us that we're not going to say, hey, you know what? You should produce 10,000 USBs a day to minimize your cost or something like that. We're going to make sure our answers stay within that domain between zero and 5,000, but otherwise we don't do too much with it for now. So the first part says, what is the actual cost incurred in producing that 1701st USB? So looking back at our actual cost formula, we're going to plug in the number we want to know minus the number before, okay, into that total cost function. So for this one, we're going to plug in C of 1701 minus C of 1700. Plug in the number you want to know and then subtract the number before. So the total cost for all 1,701 USBs. I just grab my calculator and plug in 3,000 plus 4 times 1701 minus 0 .000. Make sure you get all those zeros. 3 and then 1701 squared. So plugging into that total cost formula is where I am getting $8,935.98. That's the total cost for producing all 1,701 USBs. And now I'm going to subtract plugging in 1,700 into this total cost formula as well. So plugging in 1,700, I'm getting $8,933 even. So that's the total cost for all 1,700. So I take that total cost for 1,701 minus the total cost for 1,700. And the difference between the two is just $2.98. That's the actual cost to produce is what it's going to be or to make. You wouldn't sell for cost. You'd have to just make it or produce it to have cost. So $2.98 is actual cost to produce just the 1,701st USB. Remember, all 1701 would be almost $9,000, but just that individual one cost them $2.98. So if they're selling these USBs for $2, this is way too much production. That cost for just that one is going to be too much. But if they're selling these USBs for $15 and it's only going to cost them an extra $2.98 to bump their production up by one, they should do it. So we would use that and compare to what they're selling it for if we were going to do a full analysis. But the next part looks like it just says compare this to the marginal cost when X is 1700. So we want to remember what marginal cost is. Marginal cost is what's going to be used to predict the actual cost of producing an additional unit of commodity. So we're going to see, does this approximation work? Marginal is supposed to approximate actual for the next unit. Marginal approximates actual for the next unit. Let's see if it actually works. We'll plug in 1700 and see if it really approximates that 1701st we already calculated perfectly. So marginal cost, first we need to find the formula for it, which marginal just means take the derivative. So we're going to do C prime of X. We're going to take the derivative of this cost formula. Derivative of 3000 is 0 because it's a constant. Derivative of 4X is 4. And then we're going to bring down this power here. We have 0 0.0003 times 2, which is going to give us a minus 0 0.0006. And then it's going to be x to the first. And we're going to plug in 1700 into this derivative. So we're going to do c prime of 1700. And that should approximate the total cost, or sorry, the actual cost for the 1701st. So it's going to approximate the actual for the next unit. So I'm going to grab my calculator and do 4 minus 0 0.0006 times 1700 and I'm getting two dollars and 98 cents so so much faster than having to plug in two numbers into this longer total cost formula we just take the derivative and plug one number into it so how would I interpret this 
So first of all, it makes sense because these numbers match. But if I was just going to do an interpretation of marginal analysis, I would say from looking at this, plugging in 1700 into the marginal cost is going to approximate actual cost. So I would say the approximate, the approximate actual cost, because remember it might not be perfect, but it should estimate it. So you could say the estimated actual cost. Plugging in marginal approximates the actual. So the approximate actual cost, and you want to say what you're doing. So if you have cost, it's to produce or to make, not to sell. That would be profit or revenue. So the approximate actual cost to produce just the next unit. So we plugged in 1700, so just the 1,700 first USB is, and then our output is money, is $2.98. So does marginal analysis work? Yes. We just did the actual cost of 1701 minus 1700. We said the actual cost to produce that 1,700 first USB is $2.98. And then we said, well, what if we just took the derivative, plugged in one number, and got it faster? It should approximate it. It should be pretty close. And we found that the answers match perfectly. So the approximate actual cost to produce just that 1,700 first USB is $2.98. So again, if they're selling these things for like $20, they're good to go bump up that production. But we see that basically the derivative tells us the same information as actual costed. It just does it a lot faster. So marginal approximates actual for the next unit, and it's just a faster kind of shortcut way of doing it. So that's always nice. The last part here says find the average cost function and the marginal average cost. So we have a new formula for average cost. We've done actual cost. That's C of N minus C of N minus 1. Actual cost is up here. Marginal means take the derivative. And now we have average cost and marginal average cost. So average cost, we want to write ourselves a formula. We're getting more and more as we get through this section. Average cost is going to be C bar of X is how we would label it. And how do we find the average? Well, we take the total and divide it by the number of numbers. So that's the same thing here. We're going to do the total cost divide it by x, the number of numbers. And I'm going to put a star on that. This is another formula to know along with actual cost that we have in this section. And marginal means take the derivative. So you want to know how to find average cost. And in this case, we can jump right into an example of this formula. So in this case, we have our total cost right here. So our average cost is going to be labeled c bar of x. And I'm going to take every single one of those terms and divide it by x. So I'm going to have 3,000 divided by x. My next term is a 4x. That's going to get divided by x. And then my last term, I have minus 0.0003x squared getting divided by x. And you could leave it just like that. You're not required to simplify at all. Um, but I would because we're going to take the derivative of this next because it says find the marginal average cost. So because I'm going to take the derivative of this, I'm going to simplify what I have. So C bar of X still. I have 3,000 divided by X. We know if it's in the denominator, we want to rewrite it as a negative exponent. So I have 3,000 X to the negative 1. Then that 4X divided by X is just going to cancel. It's going to be a plus 4. And then x squared divided by x, I'm going to be left with an x on the top. So I'm going to have minus 0.0003x. So there's my average cost. And then we can switch. We're going to find marginal average cost. So I'm just going to switch my colors here. Marginal just means take the derivative. So I'm going to take the derivative of average cost this time. So I'm going to label it accordingly. So C bar means average, and then that prime is going to make it a marginal average cost, taking the derivative of it. So I'm going to look at this average cost formula and take the derivative. So I'm going to bring down the power. 3,000 times negative 1 is going to make it a negative 3,000 x to the negative 2, and we subtract 1. The derivative of 4 is 0, and then the derivative of this is going to be minus 0 0.0003, our mini rule, just the number in front of x. So 
So we have our two pieces. We found marginal average cost and we found average cost. So average means take the total cost divided by x and then marginal of anything means take the derivative of it.